tussle between Adams Oshobole, the national chairman of the APC, and Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State seems to be getting messier as both politicians have begun to fight dirty. Governor Basaki referred to the national chairman as a serial and pathological liar in response to damning statements Oshomole made concerning Obasaki. Meanwhile, the All Progressive Congress in Edo State, uh, loyal to Godwin Obasaki, have urged the national chairman to resign. Well, joining us once again, we still have Alesta Wilcox and Larry Eminike. Uh, I'm going to start with you, Alesta. At some point this year, we were, we hoped that all of this was put to bed because we saw both of them kiss and make up in public, and mm. you know we thought that all will be good. But of course, you know what's happening in the House of Assembly. We still have people who were properly elected, but they have not been able to represent their constituents, and the fight between a godfather and a godson seems unending. Where do you think that this is going to end? Well, I'm as confused as maybe any Nigerian can be. Uh, like you said, we had thought uh, this will have fizzled out. But where in a, a House of Assembly that is having, is it 24, 25 members? And only nine is still sitting. Mm -hmm. That is said to be loyal to the governor. Is still sitting. Then you can be too sure that the two camps are really entrenched in their in their positions. Um, and by the day, the, the argument get, the whole thing get heated up. You see, for me, um, it just shows one thing. Don't look for a godson. In this country, it doesn't work. Everybody that has circumvented the democratic structure, maybe apart from legal that is a bit stable, because there is a entrenched structure. Everywhere where, there, where somebody felt he wants to either protect his back, or he wants to be favorative and skew the political system to favor somebody. You see, it has always been been, been Oh, bad. so... So, it's so big, now it's a it's skewed... A big I'm sorry. So you're saying that a god in Obasaki coming into that office was a skewing, uh, was a skewing of the democratic process? Let's, I mean, is there if, if, any political... If, if god in Obasaki... Is there any political party in this country that does not... Enjoy Godfatherism. No, because I, no, none. I, I, not as far as I'm concerned. But and have the, we ever referred to the those issue, people? As... The issue is this: it has never worked. Let's look at the history. So, if Godwin Obaseke is calling um, Oshimole a pathological liar, he has is anything more than a pathological liar, then he is dead because he has always denied the fact that Oba, uh, 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 Oshimole made him a governor. Because remember, at the time that that primary was conducted. Oshimo, I mean, the government of the day then, in fact, it was, the, 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 the primary was so skewed, just like they do in other places, for him. So if he's called Oshimole today a pathological liar, then he is worse than a pathological liar because he has never, he has been denied the fact that Oshimo never made him a governor. Then how did their relationship get to this level? Who was Obaseke in the dope politics before him being an advisor to Oshimo? I have a question. How did Oshimole, one person, you, you seem to be up, upstanding and you want to follow us, you know, the democratic process. How does one person make a, a man in a whole state, yeah. a governor, how does one person, how does that happen? Please no, explain to me how that, that works. You know it as much as I do. No, no, no I don't. I'm Nigerian, sorry, I don't. The Nigerian political system, the governors are you, very Because powerful. you just, you just alluded you, to the fact that... Hold on, that hold on, hold on. The go look, it's, we're not leading to the fact. That's why when I use the word hypocrisy. I, 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 I don't like it. If we, if An we call election took place, let's call it a speed. And speed. someone became governor. But you're yes. saying that Oshomole made God in Obaseke. Squid, I just could squid the process to favor Osh uh, uh, Obaseke right from the primaries of APC. How many people picked up the forms? Right from the primaries of APC. It's just the way that Akwabio squid the system to make the dumb a governor. Just the, just the same way. That uh, Ojuz Okalu screwed the system to make uh, uh, the other Okalu a, 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 a governor. So we know these things. So if we begin to play to the so streets, you're agreeing to the fact that our votes don't count. No, 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 no. I, I I'm talking about primaries. Let's talk. Let's start from the primaries. I, I, I think we're but yes, a, a party issues. can give you tickets, a ticket, it, but the people it, have to it, vote it, to make you governor. It's, so it's, 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 where I usually get confused, you know, especially here. Is you, you say one thing and uh, 
you are you are putting up something else. You know, uh, Lester was talking about, you know, when he was talking about this queue, he mentioned that except in Lagos State, and I look at Lagos State, I discovered that whatever scene when you talk about Godfatherism, you know, the, the, the wiki media or what do they call it, explanation or definition of uh, of uh, Godfatherism, you have the reference point there, Lagos State. You know, we are, it's, oh, it's an institution. Really? You know? Yes, you know, because when you, I don't know why he accepted, he said accept in Lagos. But then, I maybe the man was, was, okay, so was not listening to me. Maybe he was saying, not listening to me. I'll yeah. correct him when he finishes. Maybe, maybe, maybe he wasn't listening to me. I'll correct him when he finished. Correcting me, we, are, we have a, a, an issue here about Oshomole and. Uh, well, he was saying the only place where it works. Yeah, it works. works. Good. Is in Lagos. Good. Not necessarily Good. Thank, that Lagos thank, doesn't have Thanks for the correction. I, I think you have said it and I appreciate that. So, but I think uh, if we talk about Oshomole and Dobaseke here, we must get one fact. There was a time, I think the last time I came here, we talked about the stoning of some certain people, mm -hmm. you know, from the headquarters of APC. And I said something there when I asked where was the stone coming from? You know, you try to say we don't know, but I said from the you know headquarters of APC. And when you look at the man of Shumole, uh, uh, it sounds so funny for a Leicester to call Obaseke the person that is a pathological liar. The last election, you saw the pronouncement of Oshomole against Osha Sukorosha, who tried to do the same. You know, there is no word you use in life, whether you're talking, you talking about pathological liar, whether you're talking about hypocrisy, whether you're talking about anything you can use to relate to a character of a person. I think Oshomole has all. And I, I can, I but can does give that, you but does that, that, but does that, that, but does that, and I'm not in any way taking sides with you okay. guys, but does that also exempt a, a basic? You know what we are saying? It, does it make him a different person if I, he was I, part, I don't, I don't even, if he benefited I, from that I'm system? Not, I'm not interested <laughs> about what Obaseko is trying to do, but what I know is that you cannot eat your cake and have it. We are running a democracy based on the question you asked here. You say, can one person make somebody a governor? Whatever madness is going on, I know that Obaseke remains a prince from a royal family, a popular family, in Edo State. What does that have to do with anything? Let me know, because of the point he's trying to make. Obaseke cannot be a chicken in Edo State politics. Before one makes anybody an SA, you saw what happened in Lagos. Who later became a governor after Tunubu? Who later became a governor in River State after Amechi? So I don't want to go even into being, uh, that's what the question you asked. I don't want to go into some of all those, the nitty gritty of the point I'm trying to make. But what I'm saying is this, this man said, because of the crisis that has degenerated, which we all know the fact, the reason was that a house divided against itself cannot stand. So my question is, how long can this drama go on? Because there has to be, the people of Edo State, I know we cannot be crying more than the bereaved yes. here, but the people of Edo State deserve good governance, and good governance cannot be given to the people if this, their representatives are kept out of the houses, if the governor is being distracted and is having this cat fight with the party leader, and then there's a segment of the party who's saying he should resign. He cannot do this, he cannot do that. We did not receive a, a man from the PDP. So there's a lot of imbroglio going on. See, I'm not How here, do you see, see through see, all of this I'm and not get here good to, governance? I'm not here to banter words with my colleague as to who Oshimole is or who um, Obaseke is. So let's talk about the Edo State people. Yes. How do they get good governance my, out of all of this? My problem is, um, it's a rather sad, Unfortunate, and if you take my first uh, statement, I, I feel saddened that this happened in those states. Like you said, um, the good governance and the peace of mind that the two people should have to have a, a, a progressive government is not there. Today, more people from outside are throwing more stones than, like you said, on this matter than even the two people. You see people come on pages of newspaper on, and, build, and their target is Oshimole. It's like people are happy when there is a problem in APC. And so they want to target the, the leadership. Nobody likes Oshimole. Is because, this, no, is no, no, this hold on, hold on, hold on. ABC people, people don't like Oshimole because of uh, how, he, Alessa, how he defeated Alessa, them randomly Alessa, I'm sorry, are you an ABC spokesperson? Election. No, so no, no. Why are you always making it seem like everybody in the world is against ABC? No, no, because ABC. when people are talking about Oshimole now, when people are talking about the crisis, people exonerate, ex 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 
forgetting a generate Obaseke. That a man like Obaseke, which caused another person, I say he was a particular liar, will inaugurate the House of Assembly with nine people. In place of 20, 24, 26 people house, you inaugurate them at 9, 9 p.m. Some of them are wearing short knicker, uh, knicker and standard slippers to inaugurate a house, and you call yourself a responsible governor. And like I said, the two people, we cannot be more than them, but people from outside are feeling this crisis more. Because it is what people say about Toshiwale. What does that, that is say about the average Adobe person? Because the Adobe people, like this problem they are sitting is back and this problem. This, this problem is the fact that people from outside are fueling this crisis, and it makes the Adobe people helpless. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. When be, you say people from outside, yes, uh, are these two gentlemen, where are they from? People from uh, outside the Edo question, state. Where are they from? These two gentlemen. They are from. They are all Edo sons. So, who are the outsiders feeling the problem? The people of my side are the people who's feeling this problem because they are the one that is telling someone, Don't agree. Don't agree. Don't agree. Don't agree. And again, they confuse the matter because they take sides and they and they use the press and that is to aggravate the problem. Let the people of Edo state sit down. All right. Uh, and call their and call the, their governors to order. Okay. You cannot take right. a, right, a, a nine-member House of Assembly to right, run Alexa, a those state. Uh, Something is let wrong. Let the man speak so we uh, can uh, wrap uh, this up. I think uh, a house divided among itself cannot stand. As far as we are concerned, or Nigerians, or even Edo people are concerned, Adam Soshomole remains the APC chairman, or Baseke remains the APC governor. These guys are in the same political party, the same political leadership, the same political followership. So this notion about outside, I don't know where it's coming from, because they are of the same political uh, uh, party. Now, how the, did this thing start? We have an Oshomole that wants to lord over an Obaseki a sitting governor, if we are running a democracy for God's sake, let us know what we practice. We do what we practice, <coughs> we preach. I can never forget, in a hurry, the pronouncement of Oshomole regarding my governor, whom some of us fought. I'm talking about Rocha, Ewele Rocha to Korocha, where he wants to bring in his in law. Oshomole was in every media But that house. was anti-party politics. What do you call anti-party politics? That you are fighting your governor and you are creating chaos and anarchy in a state being governed by your political party? But they're both from the same party. I don't know what you're talking about. The fact remains they're that they're, they're, in creating, the APC. they're creating an anarchy. Isn't that the different people from are deprived? bringing someone from... The people, from is, isn't that different from supporting somebody in another political party? No, he party. even acknowledged that. That was why he said that uh, Obaseki... Is the pathological liar for him to deny that Oshomole made worst, his governor? I say worse than. Worse than. So yeah. uh, you, you get my point. That's why I made that reference. Had he been this one worked, he will come out if he's an APC political party to defend him. But what I'm saying in essence is this. Let us get one fact clear here. We are running a democracy. And I stand on that principle of the definition of that democracy. Okay. It should be government of the people, okay. by the people, All right. and for the people. All right, gentlemen, we have to go. Thank you very much, uh, Larry Menike and uh, Lester Wilcox, both political analysts, uh, very fiery ones. Uh, thank, thank you for you being very here. Much. Yeah. Very well, we have to um, take our Plus Politics package for today. Now, don't forget, on December uh, December 11, uh, President Buhari had announced uh, the, at the Aswan Forum in Egypt uh, starting from January of 2020, other Africans will be allowed to enter Nigeria without a visa. Even though the Nigerian Senate rejected the visa on arrival policy, several Nigerians had something to say concerning the proposed policy. And uh, we want to take a look at what some of those Nigerians had to say.
what a stand for my take. Now, the president uh, is complaining about how frustrating the democratic process is in the fight against corruption. Well, when you sign up to become a president in a democratic system of governance, you have to stay the course. Yes, we understand that Mr. President's first choice of governance was not necessarily a democratic governance, but now he is here and he has to understand, Mr. President, that this is how the court processes or, you know, the whole wheels of justice have to go. They go slowly, but we all have to stay the cost because in a democracy, things might not go the way you want it, but it has to be done by the book. And of course, in a dose state with Gordon Obasaki and his, in quotes, godfather, the national chairman of the APC, Adams Oshomole, the drama seems to be unending. But I ask, where do the people of Edo State come in in all of this? Do they regard the people? Because, I mean, I'm guessing that if you decide that you want to be a governor of a state, you're there because you want to serve the people. But if half the time you're there, you're fighting your political opponents at the detriment of the people that you're supposed to serve, where is the service? So, Governor Godwin Obasaki, please let us help the people of Edo State, to take them forward. I have been to Edo State, I must say. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. Let the party drama and the shenanigans be pushed to the side. Allow justice and fair play. The, the members of the House of Assembly that have been duly elected by their people, let them come and sit and serve their people. Good governance is what the people of Edo State deserve, and you have to give it to them. My name is Mary Anacom, and it's been Plus Politics.